pray. So last one's meant to be the end. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this day and the experiences that we could have. Please help us to learn from our mistakes. And that we would continue to, sh to look to you. So please bless this uh, time of study. And please work that the live stream would all go well. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, so I just reposted uh, yesterday's notes. Also ich habe den Notizen von gestern ähm, neu gepostet in den Livestream. Because we haven't fully completed uh, study. Denn den Studium von gestern haben wir nicht zu Ende gebracht. Okay. And um, uh, yesterday we looked at this saying, the hour is coming and now is, right? Und gestern haben wir diesen ähm, Ausspruch angeschaut, die Stunde ist, äh, kommt und ist schon hier. Yes? Amen? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So... We saw it's basically the same principle um, as in Ezekiel 7 when it says the end has come, but the punishment still will soon come. Right? Das ist derselbe Prinzip wie in Ezekiel Kapitel 7, wo es sagt, das Ende ist gekommen, aber die Bestrafung steht noch bevor. So basically you have an end here, ein Ende hier and here. und auch hier. Okay. And um, so in this illustration, I just stretched this out, this fractal. So in this Darstellung, I have this here now here ausgedehnt in this fractal. Okay. So basically, end at the beginning. So here, where do you have an end at the beginning? And at the end. And at the end. And at the end. Okay. Okay, and. Um, <coughs> And we saw all this here, this whole number 10, right, is, is the time of the harvest, it's the time of the latter rain, it's the time of the end. So we have seen that this gesamte 10 here is the Zeit der Ernte, it is the Zeit um, der Spätregen and it is the Zeit des Endes. Yes, so it's, and it's this one more year that the Lord grants us. This is this one more year that the Lord uns us. Okay. And um, we also saw that this is the time when the Lord will speak plainly to us, right? Wir sehen, dass dies auch der Zeit ist, wo der Herr klar zu uns sprechen wird. And where the Father loves us. Wo der Vater uns liebt. And, um, and this basically, um, when he says, the hour is coming, and now, yes, so let's just remind ourselves, let's go to John 16. Let's just start on Alina, and then to Johannes 16. So let's go, let's jump down to verse 25. Coming is verse 25. As these things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. At that day ye shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. Okay, so he, he speaks about the time when he speaks now plainly to us. Right? Über der Zeit, wo Gott mit uns klar spricht. And um, this is also the time when the Father loves us. Der Zeit, wo der Vater uns liebt. And this was the time, in, for instance, in Daniel chapter 9, right, when Gabriel came to Daniel. Das war die Zeit, zum Beispiel in Daniel Kapitel 9, wo Gabriel zu Daniel kam. Let's just go there, let's remind ourselves. Was ist da hin? Daniel 9. Daniel Kapitel 9.
Let's read verse 21. Wir lesen Vers 21. It says, Yea, whilst I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. So when does he come here? When comes he? The ninth hour. Right? So, and we understand the ninth hour begins here when we gave the prediction, right, on July 25th. We understand that the ninth Stunde fängt hier an, wo wir die Vorhersage gegeben haben, am uh, 25. Juli. And that's when uh, Elijah started basically his turn, right? So, this is where Elijah fing an on Berg Carmel, so, it was his time. And then verse 22. Vers 22. And he informed me and talked with me and said, O Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. So what is he giving him now? Was gibt er ihm? Skill and understanding. Skill right? and Verständnis. And that's a parallel to Daniel chapter 1. Das ist eine Parallel zu Daniel Kapitel 1. Uh, so that's basically when the Lord begins to give you this revelation and you now um, receive this increase of knowledge. And then uh, verse 23. At the time, uh, sorry, at the beginning of thy supplication, the commandment came forth, and I am come to show thee, for thou art greatly beloved, therefore understand the matter and consider the vision. So what is Daniel? Was ist Daniel? Beloved. Greatly beloved, right? Also, sehr beliebt. Geliebt. Sehr geliebt. Greatly beloved. Yeah, and this is John 16, where it says, the Father loves you now. Das ist Johannes 16, wo der Vater sagt, wo es sagt, dass der Vater dich liebt. Therefore he speaks plainly here. Und deswegen spricht er hier klar. Okay. So let's continue. Weiter lesen. Um, verse 28. Vers 28. I came forth from the Father and, and come into the world again. I leave the world and go to the Father. His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverb. So they are now placed here also where they say, you speak no plainly to us, right? Verse 30. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things, and needest not that any man should ask thee, by this we believe that thou camest forth from God. So they confess that Christ knoweth all, all things. Right? Sie bekennen, dass Christus alle Dinge kennt, alle Dinge kennt. And what is the result of this confession? Und was ist der Resultat von dieser Aussage, dieser Bekenntnis? Du sagst es. Was sagt es? Yes, they, they, they believe now, right? So, you know, they, they believe, okay? Okay. So, let's continue. Uh, verse 31. Jesus answered them, Do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come that ye shall be scattered every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. So here he speaks about the hour cometh, but also is come. Is come. So here he speaks about the Stunde kommt, but is jetzt gekommen. So, uh, the end cometh, but is come already. The so, end kommt, but is schon gekommen. So, our come <coughs> and shall come okay so you have an hour here and you have an hour here so we have a stunde here and a stunde here and we 
we saw this is all this is a time and basically uh, in this time you can also say it's a it's a year right this this additional year that he gives you and it's also an hour wir sehen dass diese ein zeit ist es ist auch ein jahr also diese zusätzliche jahr die er gibt und es ist auch eine stunde so it's a time it's an hour it's a year eine zeit eine stunde ein jahr Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So let's now uh, remind ourselves of John chapter 4. So jetzt erinnern wir uns an Johannes 4. Because uh, in John chapter 4 the woman of Samaria came, right? In Johannes 4 die samaritische Frau kam. And it was at, at the sixth hour. Und es war zur sechsten Stunde. Uh, so which is also here midday or midnight, right? Mittag oder Mitternacht ist. So, Samaritan woman. Comes, and then they have this uh, dialogue with each other. Dann haben sie diesen Austausch miteinander. And then let's jump down to verse 18. Und jetzt kommen wir zu Vers 18. And uh, it says here, For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that sayest thou truly. The woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. <coughs> so, uh, Jesus explains to her now prophecy, right? So, Jesus erklärt sie prophecy. So, he explains to her basically revelation and obviously also Daniel, right? Daniel Revelation is one. Daniel and the Offenbarung. Yeah, five, five are fallen, one is. Five are fallen, one is. Okay. And then Jesus says, um, verse 21. And then verse 21. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, leave me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye you, you know not what. We know what we worship, for the salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Okay, so here he says the exact same thing, right? So he sagt er genau dasselbe. The hour cometh, but is already come. Die Stunde okay. kommt, aber ist bereits. Okay, and now let's um, jump, uh, let's continue. Verse 26. Bis Vers 26. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. So what does she re receive here? So what does she receive here? Revelation. Revelation, right? So... So receives her revelation. It's like in that. I've not looked at this for a while, but it's like in the Garden of Gethsemane. When they come for him, it's at midnight. Also in Gethsemane, when they for Jesus come, it's at midnight. He says, I am he. Er sagt, wenn er reveals himself, dann bin der fall down. Und da offenbart er sich, wenn er sagt, ich bin der, und sie fallen alle nieder. Okay, so <coughs> yeah, if we we'll just read the quote here, the, just the, um, the first bit here. Also diese Zitat hier, wir lesen das erste Teil. The woman had been filled with joy as she listened to Christ's word. The wonderful revelation was almost overpowering. So here we see she receives this revelation. <coughs> Leaving her water pot, she returned to the city to carry the message to others. <coughs> so now she goes, right? So that's a principle. So jetzt geht sie. Und das ist ein Prinzip. As soon as you receive this revelation, you are sent. Right? So, du diese erhältst, du gesandt. so this is what we all need. We need this revelation, okay? This is das, was wir brauchen, diese Jesus knew why she had gone, leaving her water pot, spoke un unmistake unmistakably as to the effect of his words. It was the earnest desire of her soul to obtain the living water, and she forgot her errand to the well 
she forgot the Saviour's thirst, which she had purpose to supply. With heart overflowing with gladness, she hastened on her way to impart to others the precious light she had received. So, in this principle, I think we will also, uh, tomorrow morning, Brother Mark will also share with us. This in principle, Brother Mark, morning with us too. Yeah, when you receive light, yeah, so somebody is there who must receive, uh, who has the light at the beginning, right? Also, jemand ist da, der das Licht am Anfang hat. And he gives it to others. Er gibt es jemand anderen. And this person, when it receive, uh, he or she receives the light, then goes and gives it again to others. Okay. Wenn der oder sie dieses Licht erhalten hat, dann wiederum gehen sie es jemand anderem zu geben. Okay. And what does she say? She says here, come see a man. Okay. Und sie sagt in den nächsten Absatz, kommt und sehe einen Mann. Uh, come and see. And we saw this also in John chapter 1, where the disciples said, come and see, is this not the Messiah? Das haben wir auch in Johannes 1 gesehen. So, die Jungen haben gefragt, ist das er? Und der Antwort war, kommt und sieh. Okay, so let's just read the last paragraph here. The last paragraph. As Jesus still sat at the well side, he looked over the fields of grain that were spread out before him the tender green touched by the golden sunlight. Pointing his disciples to the scene, he employed it as a symbol, Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. And as he spoke, he looked on the groups that were coming to the well. It was four months to the time of harvesting the grain, but here was a harvest ready for the reaper. Okay, so we can see and what was the result of the woman. Of her labor. Yes, she brought even more people, right? Okay, so. Uh, Therefore, we can somehow, uh, uh, these things, they, they go on here somehow, okay? Also, these Sachen, die finden hier statt, irgendwie. So, uh, people must be talking about this message, okay, that we don't even know of. So, Menschen müssen über diese Botschaft sprechen, von dem wir gar nicht wissen. Okay, so, that's at least what the prophetic narrative tells us here. Okay. Zumindest, was die prophetische Erzählung and we will soon see an abundance of harvest uh, appearing there before our very eyes. Okay, okay. so <clears throat> let's go now to the next point. Let's go to Luke 14. So, so next Titel, also den Armen, Lukas 14. And let's remind ourselves of this parable here. Dieses Gleichnis erinnern. Let's begin in verse 16. Fangen wir in Vers 16 an. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have brought, sorry, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. So we looked at this already some while ago, right? So das haben wir eine Zeit lang vor eine Zeit geguckt, wir angeschaut. And what, who were again these, uh, the poor, the blind, the maimed and the halt? Und wer war dieser arme, lahme, krüppel und äh, blinde? Okay, let's remind ourselves, let's just read this quote again. Okay. 
kostet Kuchen. Mal schauen. Okay, so I posted the code. So the citat have I posted? Let's read this. <clears throat> the facts relative to Korah and his company who rebelled against Moses and Aaron and against Jehovah are recorded for a warning to God's people, especially those who live upon the earth near the close of time. So. Whom is she mentioning here? So, when when she here? Yes. So, what does it typify here? Yes, it's the Omega apostasy. It's right? the Omega Abfall. Okay. So she speaks now about this Omega apostasy. Okay. She speaks here about this Omega Abfall. And let's jump down to the last sentence. Und lasst uns so letzten Satz runter. And we understand the Omega apostasy then takes place here at the end, right? Wir verstehen, dass das Omega Abfall hier am Ende stattfindet. So, and it says here, when the rebellious unfurl their banner, all the disaffected rally around the standard, and all the spiritually defective, the lame, the halt, and the blind, unite their influence to scatter and to sow discord. Okay, so who are the, the poor, the Blind, the halt, and the mean. So, where are the blinde, kruppel, um, the armen, and the lame? The disaffected ones. Yes, the, the dis disaffected ones, right? Also, diejenigen, die um, Un Unmut haben. Ne? Unmut haben. Okay. Yeah. So, das sind die, uh, there are those that are part of this Omega apostasy. Das sind diejenigen, die ein Teil von diesen Omega Abfall sind. Okay, so therefore they they are the ones that need to be called out of this Omega apostasy. Das sind diejenigen, die aus diesem Omega Abfall herausgerufen werden. And we, I don't know, two days ago or so we looked at this uh, the story of the golden calf. Right? Vor ein paar Tagen haben wir diese Geschichte der goldene Kalb angeschaut. And what was uh, Moses saying? Und was hat Mose gesagt? Who is on the Lord's side? Right? So he was calling them out of this rebellion. So in, when we go back to Luke 14, it's, it's basically, we can see here, they also receive this call here. Right? Okay. But who but who received the call first? Aber wer hat den Ruf zuerst erhalten? Hier in Luke 14. In Lukas 14. I mean because it says when we read verse 21 one more time, okay? Wenn wir Vers 21 lesen. Because in the verses prior they all made these excuses why they couldn't come. In den Versen davor, die haben alle diese Ausreden gegeben, warum sie nicht kommen können. Vers 21 says, So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. So, yeah, they received the call uh, after this group, right? Also, sie erhalten den Ruf nach dieser Gruppe. So, therefore, if 
The second group is the those of the omega apostasy. Also, wenn der zweite Gruppe diejenigen des Omega Abfall sind. Who is then the first group? Das ist die erste Gruppe. Who is left? So, wer ist übrig? The seven. Yes, seven. Okay, so. We have Jeff's group and Faminda's group, right? And we have the scenes. They are forming the Omega apostasy. Okay. Jeff's group, Faminda's group, and the Essene, they are what the Omega Abfall So if they are the, the poor, the main, the blind, and the hordes. Also, wenn die jetzt die Armen und Blinde und Gruppen und Lahmen sind, who is left? Yes. Wer ist okay. übrig? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we are called first, right? Also, wir werden zuerst gerufen. And why is this only logical? Warum ist das nur logisch? I can't give. Can't be said until you've received. Yeah, it's always those with the most light get judged first. Right? And God wants to use His own people first to give then those others, right? God möchte seine eigenen Volk zuerst benutzen, um den anderen zu geben. Okay, so therefore we can see uh, God. So we are we we're gonna be called here these three times. And we will bring forth these worldly excuses, okay? Und wir werden diesen weltlichen Ausreden hervorbringen. And all of us who will make these worldly excuses, you know, they will be shut out of the kingdom. Und all diejenigen von uns, die diese weltlichen Ausreden machen, werden aus dem Königreich ausgeschlossen werden. Der König, der schickt ja seinen Knecht, wer ist der Knecht? Yeah, also the king sends his servant. Who is the servant? No, it must be must be somebody who is not making excuses. Giving the message in this time, right? Because also somebody must give the call. Jemand, der der Botschaft in diesen Zeit gibt, denn jemand okay. muss den Ruf geben. So, but doesn't doesn't mean here that the servants also are saved, okay? Aber es heißt nicht, dass der Diener hier gerettet wird. Okay, because. It doesn't speak about the servant in this in this parable what happens to the servant but spricht hier nicht in diesem gleichnis was mit der diener geschieht but there's somebody who gives the message right aber es ist jemand der der botschaft gibt okay so the answer is question the answer for you okay i didn't understand the answer there is some we know there is somebody because it's a servant but who I mean, if this is the, the call given to to us here first, then yes. there's some some people give the message, right? Okay. 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 Also, when we are the ones who give the message first, then there are some of us who give the message. That is, one of us is also the king. Also, one of us. Yes. But. <coughs> Doesn't mean that the servant is saved. Yes, okay? klar. Einige von uns, aber das heißt nicht, dass der Diener gerettet ist. Yes. Okay. But it's a clear illustration. Okay. So if if the the poor, the maimed, and the hard are the ones in the Omega apostasy, the only are that are left, that are called before them, must be us. Okay. Also wenn der Blinde und Halter und Krüppel und Lahmen sind die Omega Abfall, die einige anderen, die nicht erwähnt sind, sind uns. And there are some who give the message to us, right? Und es gibt einige, die die Botschaft uns geben. Yes. Is this the case or not? No. Who? Two witnesses. No, okay, but that's not people, right? No, they're angels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. But I, I believe that some people give here a message to us, right? Aber ich glaube, dass einige Menschen hier eine Botschaft zu uns geben. Doesn't it? For instance, it's, it's true. Yes. So, is, are not here people standing in front and sharing a message with with all of us here? So, gibt nicht Menschen hier vorne stehen und eine Botschaft mit allen uns von uns teilen? Yes, but I thought you were referring to how do they receive it? They have to. Yes. That's what I thought you were referring to. What do you mean? Like anybody that gives a message has to receive it. Yes. It's also the chain, right? So the Lord yes. uses the point as made the two anointed ones. Yeah, bring the oil and then they share it and it passes okay. in the land, yes. right? Yes, of course. 
but still the Lord uses servants on earth, right, that he uses to give the message. Yes. Okay. That's just the biblical fact. But there are not dinan of Erden the Botschaft to give yeah, but that's oh, okay, I don't disagree with that, but that's not in Luke 14, that's what I'm saying. Why why not? Because Luke 14 is the servant that's going to um the poor, the maimed, the the halt and the blind. So So? Servant's not one person. No, I'm not saying it's one the person. The servant's everybody that's serving God. Oh, no, I don't disagree with that. So then, then the servant goes and then everybody that joins the servant becomes the servant. Yes. Well, I understand. Then it goes to the next group, so, it's, you know, so, what is so the there's, problem? there's no difference what he's saying. I don't need to discuss that, you see. Uh, I, I don't understand what, what, what... So, you have, for instance, right? In, in Luke 14, it's got people going to the halt, the, blame, the, the lame, the blind and the halt. Yes. Right? It's not speaking about a servant given to the servant. Even although that's a fact, that's all I'm saying. It's like that's just not that's just not written here. No, no, no. no absolutely is. Yes. The servant gives to the servant. No, the servant gives to a group of people. When they receive the message, they become the servant. You know, I don't, yes. I don't disagree with that. Okay, well that's what it says. It's not saying anything different. It's just a, it's just a progression. It's just a progression. It starts with somebody giving a message to some people, and they give a message to the next group. Okay, maybe we can go to um, Revelation chapter 1, just to clear, clear this point up. In the bottom bottom of the lines. Let's read verse 1. That's the lines. says here, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Okay, so we see God gives the revelation to Jesus. So God gives the offenbaring to Jesus. Jesus gives it to his angel. Jesus gives it to his angel. And his angel gives it to his servant, right? His angel gives this to sein Diener. Yes, and in this case, John is his servant. And in this case, Johannes is the Diener. And what is John to do now? And what shall Johannes do? To his servant. Yes. Yes, so this to the Diener. In, in verse 4 it says, John to the seven churches. Right? So he gives it to the seven churches. But when we go to the seven churches, like uh, for instance in Ephesus, uh, let's go to chapter one, uh, 2 verse 1. And when we are to the Gemeinden gehen in Kapitel 2 verse 1 to Ephesus, it says, Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, so he addresses the message always to the angel of the churches, right? And what is an angel? Yes, a messenger. Okay. So it's basically the it was back then literally the preacher of this church. Okay. So in the preacher of the church, what was he to do? Yeah, give the message to the rest of the the church, right? So it's a it's a biblical chain. That's how God operates. Okay? And this is always how He operates. So okay. So you can you can if you just go to back to Luke fourteen, verse twenty one. It says, "So that servant came and showed his Lord these things." Then the master of the house, being angry, said to the servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes, and sit in, bringing the poor, the mean, the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done, as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. So if you were to read it that way, there'd only be one servant all the way down that does all the message, and there'd be nobody else. No, I, I'm not disagreeing with that. I mean, the principle, I have no problem with the principle. All I'm saying is, is that when you're talking about a servant, okay, that's going to the halt, the lame, the blind, and the poor, and that this servant would be among us, yes, whoever that servant is, it's going to the halt, the lame, the blind, and the poor. But that's not what he's teaching, that's what he's saying. Yes. He's already gone to the first group, and they were all the ones that hear the message will have joined him. 
And then he, when he goes to the halt, the main build, the blind, all the halt, main, and blind that joined him will go to the highways and hedges. So it always says the servant, but it's only, but it's just a symbol of whoever is given the message at that time. Okay. Maybe you can translate it. Also, der Diener, wer auch immer der Diener ist, also der Diener geht zu den ersten Gruppe und wer da gehorsam ist, wird zu Diener werden und dann der Diener wird zu den Lahmen und Blinden und so weiter gesandt und wer da gehorcht, wird zu den Diener werden und dann die Diener, Mehrzahl, geht jetzt zu den, den Straßen und den Hecken und ruft den nächsten Gruppe. So, yes. so whenever yeah, people join, they become also the servant. Okay. So, wenn auch immer Leute sich anschließen, sie werden auch der Diener. Also diese Gruppe, der zur Diener werden, sie machen alle But Ausreden. Well, uh, uh, the same argument. Is Not everybody is going to reject it. It's just a, it's just a parable, right? So some people are going to accept it. Right? How, 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 are we how are we to study Norris according to Miller Schulz? And from the other Nicht jeder wird das ablehnen. People that are rejecting from the main poor and yes, yes there will always, there will always be people rejecting, but there's all just doesn't show you it there, but there will always be people that will accept. Because Miller's rule says if you want to understand a parable, you must bring them all, all together. together. Yeah. Right? So this parable shows that. The first group, everybody rejects it, and from the second group, everybody accepts it. Yeah. But we know from other parables that this is not the case. Okay. Which page I translate? Oh, I'm saying what I said. Okay, I can translate. No, I can translate what you said. But, um, okay. Also, okay, Miller's Regeln sagt, um, dass wenn wir was studieren sollen, sollen wir alle Gleichnisse zusammenbringen. Also wenn wir nur diesen Gleichnis alleine studieren, dann wird alle von der ersten Gruppe ablehnen und alle von der zweiten Gruppe wird es annehmen. Und wir wissen aber von anderen Gleichnissen, dass das nicht der Fall ist. Yes. Okay. So, but the point I wanted to make is that here in Luke 14 we see uh, the, 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 poor, the poor, the maimed and the hold and the blind. They are the ones that get called after us, okay. Also der Punkt, den ich machen wollte, ist, dass hier in Lukas 14 die Blinden, der Kruppel, der Lahm und den Armen sind diejenigen, die nach uns gerufen werden. But it must be, right, because, let's read verse um, 22, I think it is. Und das muss so sein, dann lass uns Vers 22 lesen. And it says, and the servant said, Lord, it is done, as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. Okay, so... Right here, he says it is done. Right? So, here sagt er, es ist getan. So, and the door for this movement shuts. Okay. And the door for this movement is zu. So, and therefore we can see that these two calls must be in this time of the ten. Right? So, we can see that these two calls must be in this hier in Zeit des Zehnes stattfinden muss. First we need to be called and then they need to be called. Okay. Weil wir müssen gerufen werden und dann die müssen gerufen werden. Okay. So now let's go to John chapter 5. So lasst uns jetzt zu Johannes Kapitel 5 gehen. Let's read verse 1 and down to verse 4. Und wir lesen die Vers 1 bis 4. Or maybe even to, to verse 5. Oder sogar bis Vers 5. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. So what was there? A feast. A feast. A feast. Okay. So last Sabbath, what did we study about the feasts? So last Sabbath, what have we studied about the feasts? Yes, we, we showed that all the feasts can be marked here in this tent. Right? Alle Festen können hier in diesen Zähnen markiert werden. Yes? Amen. Okay. So therefore also this feast here, it's right here in this tent. Okay. So let's see. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Beth Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. So who was lying there at this pool? So where lag here on this teich? 
Nein, du hast es. Yes. Ja, okay. Also diese Gruppe, die wir immer erwähnt haben, die so Grenzen und Gruppen und so. Die Omega Apostasy, right? Die Omega Apostasy. In, in what condition are they? Und in welchem Zustand sind sie? They're all sick, right? Yes. Also ist impotent. Yes. So they're all sick. Also sind alle krank. So, and why are they sick? Und warum sind sie krank? Let's read verse 4. Vers 4. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. So what does this angel do here? Was tut diesen Engel? Der sieht noch. Yes, it sees them, but it says here, troubles the waters, right? It verführt sie wohl, aber es sagt hier, es rührt den Wasser, oder beunruhigt der Wasser. Yes, so, and what are the waters? Was sind die Wasser? Nations. Nations, right? Nation. So, so, for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. So, what, who is this angel? Wer ist diesen Engel? Satan. Satan, right? Satan. So it's Satan troubling the waters. Satan okay. beunruhigt den Wasser. Yeah. Marking a time of trouble. Okay. Markiert eine Zeit des Trübsals. So he's the one troubling the nations, right? Er ist derjenige, der die Nationen beunruhigt. Yes. Okay. So, and he deceives them that whosoever goes in first into these waters, so what, what does this illustrate? So er verführt sie, dass diejenigen, die in den Wassern zuerst reingehen, der okay. first place steht yes. da. Okay, but when you rush to get into the nations, what what is it? Public event. Yes, public event. Also, wenn du dich eilst, zu den Nationen zu gehen, das ist öffentliche Evangelisation. So, in Satan promises you, if you do this, you, he will heal you. Okay. Satan verspricht, wenn du dies tust, werde er dich heilen. Okay, so there are the, the deceived ones. Okay. Die sind yes, yeah. die Verführten, also die streben nach das irdische Krone und nicht das englische. Yes, that's why it has this vision of the two crowns and the majority, they want the earthly crown. Ellen White hat diese Vision von diesen zwei Kronen, himmlischen und irdischen, und die, die Mehrzahl streben ähm, eifrig nach diesen irdischen Kronen. And they... they Trump trample upon each other and they try to be first in order to reach it. Yes? And that's why it says the same thing about these people here. And why it's like the same over these here. Okay. So verse five. Verse five. So we are basically here, yeah, and now the Omega apostasy is being visited by Jesus. Okay. So here and this Omega abfall wird von Jesus besucht. So in Jesus. Would represent then his servants, right? That go out and call the the whole, the main, the blind, and the poor. Right? Jesus here stellt seine Dienern hier am Ende der Welt, die gehen und rufen den Halten, also den Kruppen und Lahmen und Blinden und Armen. Okay, now let's go to verse five. Verse five. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity thirteen eight years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. So, and Jesus, uh, and Sister White says, yeah, he didn't have any strength left whatsoever. Okay. So, what does what would this signify? Was würde denn das darstellen? When he doesn't have any strength. Yes, he he's one he's the, one of these honest deceived ones. Okay, that don't trust in their own strength. Yes. But, uh, and he understands he has no. Power whatsoever, and he needs a savior. Okay. Er versteht, dass er keine Kraft in sich hat und einen Retter benötigt. And he looks for a helper, though he's deceived. He looks for somebody who helps him to. Obwohl er verführt ist, er sucht nach jemand, der ihm hilft. To to do what he thinks is right. Okay. Um das zu tun, was er glaubt richtig ist. Okay. So Jesus comes to him and then says. Um, Uh, the seventh impotent yes. man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool, but while I'm coming, another steppeth down before me. 
Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked, and on the same day was the Sabbath. Okay, so what day was it? To welchen Tag war es? Sabbath, right? Sabbath. When, when did John in the Revelation receive his Revelation? So, when did Johannes in the yes. Offenbarung, seine Offenbarung erhalten? Also on the Sabbath, right? Den Herrn Tag, den Sabbath. Okay. And now let's jump down to um, verse four, uh, 13 and 14. Verse 13 and 14, yes. And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest the worst thing come unto thee. So what does he tell him? Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. Uh, to whom else did Jesus say this? Mm. Yes, uh, you give the answer, Mark. To Mary. Yes, to Mary Magdalene. Right? Mary Magdalene. So let's go qu uh, quickly to John 8. Johannes 8. This is when the Pharisees want to stone her. And um, basically, uh, Jesus says, who is without sin, cast the first stone. And, uh, and he writes down basically their sins, right? It's the judgment scene. So and at the end of the judgment, in verse 11, in verse 11, am Ende des Gerichts, uh, so he asks him, has nobody condemned thee? And she says, in verse 11, she said, no man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Okay. Same expression. Okay. So let's go back to John chapter 5. So zurück zur Notizen, Johannes 5. Okay. So he's healed and he's not to sin anymore. Let's read now verse 15 and 16. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. So what do the Jews now want to do with Jesus? Yes, they want to kill him. Okay. So... <coughs> Um, still open, but I would suggest uh, that all these things take place in this bracket here. Okay. So, ich bin offen korrigiert zu werden, aber ich würde vorschlagen, dass all diese Dinge hier innerhalb dieses Fraktals, innerhalb des Szenes stattfinden. And, and we understand at the midnight cry we come face to face with that. Right? Wir verstehen, dass an der Mitternachtsruf kommen wir vor der Angesicht des Todes. Yes. But when we go into this bracket here, uh, this would be a parallel. Okay, to the midnight cry. Okay. Wenn wir innerhalb diesen Fraktal gehen, also diese Wegmarke hier werde den Parallel zur Mitternachtsschluss sein. Okay, so therefore, uh, it, it might be that this killing here of Jesus refers to in this time when he will come to this point. Es kann sein, dass hier, wo sie Jesus töten wollen, es bezieht sich auf diesen Punkt hier innerhalb diesen Fraktals. Okay. So when he goes forth to heal all the maim and the blind and the old. Okay. Wenn er vorangeht, um zu heilen den Lahmen und Blinden und Krüppeln und so weiter. Okay. So, but as I said, I'm open for correction, but that's at the moment how I would view it. Okay. So wie gesagt, ich bin offen korrigiert zu werden, aber so wie es jetzt steht. So sehe ich die Dinge. Because when we jump down to um, verse 19, wenn wir bis Vers 19 runterkommen. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Verse 20. 20. For the Father loveth the Son, and show, showeth him all things that himself he doeth, and he will show him greater works than these, that he may marvel. For as the Father raise, raiseth up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. 
For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. So, in order that we can heal the maimed and the poor and the blind, what must have happened to us? Was muss mit uns vorher geschehen? Yes, but, but what, um, what does Jesus say here, for instance, in verse 24? Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that did what? Sent him, or sent me, right? Have everlasting life. So you need to be sent first yourself in order now, right? Because in Luke 14, he says, Go now quickly to the main, the hold, and the blind, and the poor. Right? But what I'm saying is, you have to have everlasting life first in order yes. to give it. Okay, therefore, uh, I would suggest this is where we get sent here. Okay, okay. that's the parallel to when you're sent also here full, in fullest sense. Okay. Das ist parallel zu hier, also so, wo du hier am Ende im vollsten Sinne gesandt wirst. Okay. Okay. So, and what does he say? And what does he say? Okay. He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life. So, what message do you have now? So, welche Botschaft hast du hier? Yes, a, a life-giving yes. message, right? So, ein lebensspendende Botschaft. Okay. And now verse 25. Verse 25. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Okay, so what does he say? So what does he say? Yes, he again uses the same expression, right? And when this, the hour is come, what happens with the dead. And when the Stunde comes, what is with the Toten? Yes, exactly. Okay. So, basically, yeah, you, you have a resurrection mark. Okay. And this is when this, this man was healed by um, Jesus, for instance. Okay. Okay. And we understand in Ezekiel um, 37, um, let's go to Ezekiel 37. Because uh, how many births do we have on our line? Two. Two. Okay, so when we look at this illustration. Also, when we diese obige ähm, Darstellung anschauen. Where are the two births marked? Wo sind die zwei Geburten markiert? At least here in, in principle. Okay. Also, in principle. Yes. First birth. Erste Geburt. Then second birth, right? Zweite Geburt. Okay. So, and this is Ezekiel 37, right? This is Ezekiel 37. Yes. Because in Ezekiel 37, how many prophecies are there? Denn hier in Ezekiel 37, wie viele Prophezeiungen gibt es? Two prophecies. Zwei. Right? And the first one is pointing to where? Und der erste weist worauf? So? Yes, right? So the first one points to here. Der erste weist hier auf. And the second points to here, right? Das zweite hier. Just in, in the Millerite right time. Genauso right? wie in der Millergeschichte. And you have two prophecies, August 11th and October 22nd. Zwei Prophezeiungen in Miller Geschichte, 11. August und 22. Oktober. Okay, so, and these are the two births. Okay. Das sind die zwei Geburten. Yes? Ezekiel 37. 
Two prophecies. It's by prophesying, yeah. it's not there. It's the double prophecy that, that they give. The breath enters into you right there, that's the, the new birth. You, c you, can't say, you can't say right there, John was raised up out of the belly, right? Filled with the spirit, but there's no breath in him. Right? No, that's my point. It's, you have these two things here. Okay, maybe that, I'm not going to argue that point, but I'm saying that Ezekiel 37 is in that little time period. You can't take it and stick it on that big line like that. It just totally breaks everything when you do that. No, it's the same principle. It's the two births. No, no way. You can't do that. That's, that's one prophecy. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Ezekiel comes there on the fifth day, the fourth month to the new birth at the end. It has to be in this time period. It can never be. You can never separate it on, on there. Otherwise, you would never have a people there given a message. You know what I mean? Yes. No, I, what, what I want to establish is that the first one is here and the second one is here. That, that may be so. I'm not arguing that about it, but you can never put it on that line. And the uh, reason why no, you no, can't... No, I, I can put the principle of, of this. No, 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 you can't. I'm saying because what you would be doing is you'd be saying at midnight there's a people gathered but they have no breath in them. You can't do that. Because they do have the breath in them. That's what I'm saying. John comes out the belly there and he's filled with the Spirit. What I'm saying is Ezekiel 37 is, is one event that takes place in this time of tent. Now you might want to put it on those two things. I am not arguing with that. I, I, I've not looked exactly where they go in there yet. But it's definitely in that box there. Um, the point is uh, we must uphold the pattern, right? L L Lawrence, look. I'm not arguing with you. You can't put it on there. If you put it up there like that, you're breaking everything. Okay. okay. Then we don't need to argue. I think the pattern falls through, but that's okay. But we can we can leave it for now. There's, and then there's, we'll there's some things that are just taking place in this. They're not on there. There's some things that are just, because this is the fact of it, some things are specifically happening in that point. You, you don't have to see them beforehand. That this, 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 this is not a principle that, that has to hold. You don't have to have everything fulfilling outside of there before you have it in here. Sh show me where it says that. There are certain things that are fulfilled in there. There are typifying things in there, but not everything. Some things are just specifically taking place in this point. It's principle of the fractals, so... Um, <laughs> that's that, Okay, I'm not going to get that. That's okay. not true what you're saying. Okay, we'll, we'll, the Lord will show it whether it's true or not. So, then, um, okay, let, let's just go back to John chapter 5. Zurück zu Johannes 5. Okay, and <coughs> yeah, we, we could see here, okay, my, my point is, yeah, these two prophecies that come true, it's marked here and marked here. Also, these two prophecies, die wahr kommen sind, hier und am Ende markiert. Because that's the principle that we see in the other reform lines. Right? Das ist das Prinzip, die wir in den anderen Reformlinien sehen. Uh, prophecy comes true here and a prophecy comes true here. Prophezeiung mm -hmm. kommt hier zustande und am Ende. Okay, and we also have we have two prophecies in this fractal. Right? Es gibt auch zwei Prophezeiungen innerhalb dieses Fraktal. Yes. Amen. Uh, we, we have this about Vienna and about the yes, basically the full fulfillment of it. Also here okay. Wien and am Ende das volle Ausmaß dann steht. Okay, so <clears throat> so basically, yeah, the Lord says here uh, when they hear now the voice and they are the dead ones because. They don't have the life yet, okay? So the Herr sagt, wenn die die Stimme hören, und das sind die Toten, weil sie noch nicht das Leben haben. Yeah, they will basically come out of their graves. Sie werden okay. aus ihren Gräbern kommen. Okay, anyways, I think we can close for tonight here, and uh, I will also just look into this more fully. And then wir werden für heute Abend we'll hier schließen, und ich werde das ein bisschen näher anschauen. But the point we could see is um, about yeah, this hour that is coming and now is. But the point that we see is this hour that is coming, that comes, but now is. And also about the order that the call goes to us first and then to the 
Those of omega process. Auf die Reihenfolge, dass das Ruf geht zu uns zuerst und dann das Omega Abfall. Okay, so everybody could at least see this. Konnte jeder das äh, sehen? Okay, good. Then let's close with our prayer. Dann lasst uns mit unserem Gebet schon beschließen.